Tom Buckley steps in the faceoff circle against Bill Reed off the draw. We're underway here in the first period. Puck comes up to the red line. Reed gets a skate on it. It bounces free. It's picked up by Frank Joy. Joy from Messina, flipping it ahead to La Bombard by way of Reed. Here's Brian right down the middle, trying to go to Spanberg behind him. Josh comes back for it, takes it in the corner for Messina. Centering pass knocked away by Buckley, back checking. And the Marauders bang it to the blue line, but not out. Now they get it out. Frank Joy is there to move it right back to La Bombard. Back in the zone. After it is Scott, the defenseman for St. Joseph's. In behind. He flips it, trying to go to Buckley, La Bombard. And Buckley knocks him to the ground, or to the ice, I should say. And the Marauders move it out to center ice. Frank Joy there to intercept. He flips it ahead. Spanberg. Spanberg lets it go into the zone, races in after it, has it knocked away by Scott again. He flips it along the boards, comes back to Schneider at the point from Messina, but it's poke checked by him. And here comes Will Cressetta. Will Cressetta in on the right side. Nice move. Gets by the Messina defense. A shot save made by Garcia. Whoa. Big move by Cressetta. And he beat the Messina defenseman cleanly. Got a good shot, but Garcia makes a big save. Made the move that he was going to go to the outside and came to the inside. And as you said, beat that Raider defenseman cleanly. And Brian Garcia and goaltenders love to get tested early. And they like to get that first tough one out of the way that just gives them all kinds of confidence. Big save. Uh, and, uh, boy, that really picks the Raiders up. Beautiful save by number 21, Brian Garcia. Face off left side. B.J. Terry's line out for Messina. Crescetta stays out there with his line mates for St. Joe's. Raiders move it out. Here's Terry trying to flip it ahead. It's knocked away back to the Messina line. Doug Adams is there to dump it inside St. Joe's territory. Mike Murphy clears it out to center ice. It comes to Adamski. He takes it across into the Messina zone. His shot is deflected by Derek DeRocher. He and Adamski go in behind the net. It bounces free. Picked up by the Messina Red Raiders. Here comes Messina's Willard. He dumps it deep in St. Joe's territory. Windrum racing in after it for the Marauders. Bangs it off the boards. DeRocher keeps it in at the point. He dumps it right back against the glass. Bounces back into the back of the mesh and the whistle blows. And we'll have a faceoff inside Marauder territory. 13-19 uh, left to play here in the first period. On the Peach Jewelers scoreboard, it's 0-0. Messina, St. Joseph's. Coach John Mickler uh, w loves to play Messina. He knows that to get that, the ultimate respect is uh, Messina's respected throughout the state. And you got to play the best and beat the best to get that uh, high ranking. Now right, we've got Collins out there with Majerski and Crozier uh, against the Terry line for Messina. Buck in the corner, trying to move it around is Garon. He flips it ahead, and out comes St. Joe's to the Messina line. Kerwin takes his man out of the play. That's Majerski, and Mike Dion picks up the puck, rips it around the boards. It comes to Woodward. Woodward gets tied up. It bounces to Kerwin. Kerwin trying to move it along. Knocked away, and it's picked up in there by Crozier. Centering pass, bounces in the slot, and we have a whistle, and I think we're going to have our first penalty of the ball game. No, I nope. think he's going to call it. He closed his hands oh, over the puck. Hand. Okay. Face-off will be the left of uh, Garcia. We played uh, a little less, a little over two minutes this opening period. Now it's uh, Corey David's line coming out from Messina. David Courier for the Red Raiders and Mike LaPointe on the other wing. Off the face-off, puck in deep. Messina territory controlled by the Marauders. That's Crozier, centers it, and the shot came from the high circle, and it's wide. Back to the point. The Marauders keep it in, bounces into the circle. And back to the point it goes again. Here's Tool with it. He bangs it off the glass. It rides the puck boards around to LaPointe, and he takes it, moves it out toward the blue line. They jam for it along the boards. It's poked back into the corner. And Courier, or I should say Kerwin, picks it up from Messina. Ahead to Courier. Courier bangs it for Corey David. Here's David from the red line, dumps it deep in Marauder territory. Stopped by Janal in behind the net. He flips it to his wing. Bangs it out to center ice. Intercepted. Rochford dumps it back in the Marauder zone. Picked up by Dan Toole, and he flips it on the wing. Out to Larry Scott. Scott into the Messina zone, taken out of the play. P.J. picks up the puck, doesn't clear the zone. Here's a drive. Save made. Rebound clear to Courier. Nice save again by Messina goaltender Brian Garcia. In behind the net, it's Frank Joy. He gets tied up. Kicks it free. P.J. flips it around the boards for LaPointe. Gets back to the blue line, and it's kept in at the blue line. And finally, Garcia, as the puck slides toward him, jumps out and covers it up. And we'll have a face-off inside Messina territory. 11.35 left, still no score. 
First three and a half minutes, definitely uh, the edge has gone to the St. Joe's Marauders. They've been hovering around and uh, really putting some licks on. Uh, you mentioned Danny Toole, that big defenseman, 6'1", 200 pounder. He really stood uh, Corey David up at the machine, just inside the uh, St. Joe's blue line with a real solid check and some nice saves down here by Brian Garcia so far in this first period. Matt Reed against Willie Crossetta. Puck comes back to the blue line and bounces out to center ice as Scott Berry couldn't keep it in. Now the bouncing puck right along the blue line, across the blue line. Here's a shot. Oh, nice club save by Garcia. Good shot by uh, Cochinini. He got it labeled for the corner, but Garcia snared it with a glove. It's something you don't see too often. Uh, a wrist shot, kind of a partial wrist and a little snap in there. And that was about a 40-footer, and he had a lot on it. Headed to that top left-hand corner. Uh, good shot, good save by Brian Garcia. Reed against uh, Grossetta. Off the face, back to the point. The defenseman skates in the middle. Backhander is blocked by Joy, and LeBombard picks it up. Has it poked away. Comes back for it. Lifts the stick. Gets knocked down. Here's a shot. Garcia makes the save. And uh, we'll have another faceoff inside the Messina zone. The net gets knocked off its moorings, and the draw will come, I believe, to the right side of Garcia this time. All that activity started, and it's and the Raiders aren't faring any better on the faceoffs. First game, the St. Joe's won 63 percent of the faceoffs, and I'll tell you, they probably won 95 percent here in the first few minutes. And all the activity starts from them winning the draw. Off the draw, this time Messina wins it, and it comes to Frank Joy. Starts up, almost lost the puck, but stays with it. Moves it ahead to center ice, intercepted, dumped right back in the Messina zone. In behind the net, Garcia leaves it for P.J. Rochford. Rashford starts out left side, flips on the wing to LaBombard to Reed. Here comes Matt Reed. Reed down the left wing side, trying to get by the check and does. Here's Reed in the corner now, looking for Spanberg. Spanberg circles, dumps it in behind again for Reed. Reed gets tied up by Tool. Reed stays with it, flips it in behind for LaBombard. Poke checked by him and up on the wing. Spanberg steps in, can't get a piece of it, and the Marauders move it out to center ice. Headman pass is intercepted. LaBombard, he dumps it right back in the zone. Stopped in behind the net by Mike Janal, the goaltender. Leaves it for his defenseman. Now that's Steve Garon. Garon starts out, takes it right in front of his own net. He gets forechecked by Woodward as Messina in the middle of a line change. Here's Reed trying to center. Knocked away, comes back to the blue line. Schneider keeps it in. Now the puck dumps in behind again. Here's Garon after it. Steve Garon, the defenseman, flips it to the blue line, and it goes by everybody down the ice. I don't believe it'll go far enough for icing. No, DeRocher gets back from Messina. Here's DeRocher trying to flip it on the wing. It's intercepted. And here's Larry Scott in the corner for the Marauders. Scott gets tied up, but following is Buckley. Here's Buckley trying to wrap it around. He's knocked off the puck, and the Raiders clear it around the boards, and down the ice it goes. And we have a whistle. Uh, the net apparently got knocked off. And we'll have a face-off. Uh, well, let's see where the face-off is. And uh, the focus of the Raider attention uh, each time he's on the ice is big number four, Tommy Buckley. He's a six, two, six foot two, two hundred five pound senior, and uh, one of the mainstays offensively for Coach John Mickler's uh, St. Joe's Marauders. And uh, as the game goes on, you'll see him double shifted, especially in the late going at crucial moments. Uh, uh, Coach Mickler will double shift him. He assisted on the tying goal and got the winning goal against Messina. He's, a, he's an excellent, excellent hockey player. Off the faceoff, the puck comes out to neutral ice, and it's right back up into the stands. So we'll do it all over again. This time the faceoff will be at the red line. 9.43 left first period. It's scoreless on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard. High school hockey on WMSA. St. Joe's certainly have ready to answer this bell here in the first uh, period, the first six minutes of this game. They're about a quarter of a step faster than the Raiders right at this moment. Off the faceoff, puck bounces, and Buckley picks it up, flips it ahead for Worth. Worth tries to make a move, but Schneider intercepted. Back out to neutral ice. It's poked back in the Messina zone. DeRocher's there to pick it up. Looks up, bangs it ahead. Buckley intercepts, looking to center, but it bounces out to center ice off a stick. Here's a foot race for it, and Willard can't catch up as he is impeded. The puck comes bouncing back in the Messina zone. Schneider looks up again, off the glass, out to center ice it comes. Here comes B.J. Terry. He's got Willard with him, and Willard goes offside. Terry has to just flip it in the zone. Messina clears, but the Marauders control. It comes to Worth, bounces away from him. Buckley follows up and dumps it in the Messina zone. The Marauders want to change. Ryan Kerwin for the Raiders, picking it up, goes on his wing. Here's LaPointe, LaPointe's head man, deflected, down the ice it goes, and icing will be the call against Messina. B.J. Terry's got to make an adjustment there, especially he was uh, in that, uh, been out a while, uh, rushing to the line. Uh, there were th 
three or four maroon shirts back, and he had one white shirt going with him. He's got to dump the puck in the zone there, and then if he wants to change, fine. But uh, no way he could make a pass on that. He made an extra move and pulled uh, his wing, Chad Willard, offside. He's got to dump it in the zone on that type of uh, situation. When you haven't got a man advantage, the... Uh, you got to dump it in there. Off the faceoff. Here's a drive from the point. That's wide. Bounces all the way back to the other point. Kept in by Scott Berry for the Marauders. Puck just inside the zone. Courier takes a whack at it from Messina. It's poked away. Bounces in their skates. Doug Adams. And it finally comes back out, back in the zone. And Courier picks it up, flips it right back out. Comes to the Marauder line. Tom DiGiulio. DiGiulio flipping it ahead into the Messina zone. Here's the shot. Save made by Garcia. Big drive by Caccianiti. Puck around the boards. He had an excellent chance before, too. Bounces out to center ice again. The Marauders control. They dump it in the zone, and it's Adams moving it out. He gets tied up back across the blue line. Here's an opportunity for Adamski. He's taken out of the play. Puck poke checked away. Courier tries to come up with it. Now it's Adams again. Adams gets tied up. The puck comes to Adamski again. He is ridden off the play. In behind the net, Adams throws a check as he jams for it along with Collins. The puck still tied up underneath him as they push and shove, and it comes free. Here's a chance in front, but it's cleared. Great play by Kerwin. Excellent play. The puck bounces in the corner, and it's picked up and bounces in behind the net again. Here comes Crozier with it, and he has it knocked away, and the Raiders' Kerwin moves out to center ice. Here's Kerwin with it, backhanding it from the red line, deep in St. Joe's territory, and the Raiders want to change. In behind is Barry with a puck. For the Marauders, long headman pass to Crozier. Crozier's pass knocked down. He follows up again. Here's Crozier right in front of the Messina bench, but Reed is there to flip it ahead. Now LaBombard, his backhand pass goes to Reed, has it knocked away. Back out to center ice. P.J. Rochford, he flips it right back in the Marauder zone. In behind the net is Barry with it. Barry, the defenseman, flipping it ahead for Buckley. Buckley skates out of the corner. Here's Buckley looking up, lifts it high in the air. Rochford blocks it with a glove, backhands it in the zone. Delay off sides, Messina clears, but it's dumped down the ice. That'll be an icing call against St. Joe's and move the faceoff back in their end. 6.54 left first period, and on the Peach Jeweler scoreboard, still 0-0. And the only reason it's 0-0 is Brian Garsha, just a sparkling save off of Chad Caccianiti. Uh, Caccianiti jumped off the bench, uh, picked up the puck just inside the Raider blue line, and I'll tell you, he was aiming uh, top uh, stick side, and that's where he put it. Just a great blocker save by Brian Garcia. Off the faceoff, puck controlled by Dan Toole. Toole flips it around the boards. Spanberg steps in front of it. He slides one, deflected just wide. Now pinching in his Dion. He fires one at the net. It's knocked down in front, and LeBombard gets tied up, but he manages to get it to Spanberg. Back to LaBombard in the corner, left side. Here's LaBombard. He's knocked out of the play, but Reed picks up the loose puck. He's ridden off the play, and the Marauders control and move it out to center ice. Headman pass on the stick of Worth. Here's Worth across the blue line in the Messina zone. He's taken out of the play. The puck comes in behind the net. Picked up there by Larry Scott. Scott circles back to the blue line, dumped back in the corner. P.J. Rochford after it there. Rochford looking for LaBombard. He just lets it go. Now there's a foot race for it as Garon and Reed. Reed steals from him. Here's Reed's shot. Oh, he fired it wide. Good opportunity for Messina and good hustle by Matt Reed. Now the puck bounces in the corner. They try to clear it, but it's kept in there. Reed again digging for it in the circle along with Willard as Messina in the middle of a line change. Willard goes to Reed. Here's Reed. Stick handle backhand shot. Knocked down by a skate. They jam at it. It comes back to the blue line. Frank Joy with it. Winds up. His shot deflected up over the net and into the wall. A couple of good opportunities for Messina. Really their first good scoring chances of the game. I'll tell you, Messina needed something to get him going, get this crowd and get the team into it, and they won't get a better effort no matter how long this season is, then number 14, Matt Reed, put forth there. I'll tell you, that was just a super effort. The uh, St. Joe skater probably had five-stride five stride head start on him, and he just hustled, hustled, and uh, almost connected. A great effort by Matt Reed. He hustled back, took it away from the St. Joe uh, defenseman, and uh, worked his way in and got a shot off on Janelle. Just a great effort by Into the zone, we have an offsides on St. Joseph's as Crossetta was coming in. And his winger, I'm not sure which one it was, was offside. Bill Crossetta working both ends of the ice. Uh, great play defensively down to our right and then led the rush back up to our left. Uh, he's a 5'11", 175-pound senior, uh, and he centers that line of Adamski and Kachaniti. 
They've probably been the most effective St. Joseph's line so far. Yeah, I think that probably is there, uh, and I think that's uh, they kind of uh, hide in the dark. Everyone thinks Buckley's line, but I think that line of Crossetta is the, is the dangerous one. Off the faceoff, puck in the Messina zone. Here comes Derek DeRocher. Long head man, oh, on the stick of Willard. Bounces into the corner, and Chad goes after it. Willard, he gets tied up by the defenseman. That's Barry, and the puck moved along the boards out to center ice. Here comes Crozier with it. Dumps it in the Messina zone. Garcia stops it and then flips it in the corner. He gets caught out of his net. Now he's back in, and the puck bounces to the circle, back out to the blue line. Here's a drive. It's blocked, picked up by Courier. Courier off Willer or Woodward stick down into the zone as Messina in the middle of a line change. Picked up there on the defense by DiGiulio. He bangs it to the blue line and out to center ice it comes. Here comes St. Joe's again. Nice play by Kerwin. Ryan Kerwin's had a good game for Messina. He tries to clear. The puck bounces in front. Here's a shot and a nice save again by goaltender Brian Garcia, we have a whistle behind the play and a tripping call against Messina He's as Ryan Kerwin will get the gate. Ryan Kerwin, referee Billy Foster. Uh, Kerwin upended the St. Joe's player right in front of uh, Ryan Garcia and uh, St. Joe's going on a power play. I tell you, the uh, St. Joe's had come in on their own end at will. No problem solving the Messina four-check system in this first period. Messina's got to make some adjustments to that. Uh, as we said before, St. Joe's uh, a little bit faster at this time. They've been uh, ready to answer the bell. The Raiders uh, look a little sluggish at this stage right now. And it's only been the sparkling uh, performance by uh, number 21 down here to our left that has kept this a 0-0 uh, hockey game with 4-16 left in the first period. On the power play, Crescetta coming out there. We've got Worth on one side and Buckley on the other side. Power play. Of course, Buckley got a power play goal for, for St. Joe's in the win over Messina. Here's Buckley. Comes in front, and the puck bounces as he was ridden just wide by Adams, and he knocked the, the net off on his way by. And the horn went off. I'm not sure why they sounded the buzzer, but uh, that just uh, showed you the individual brilliance of number four, Tommy Buckley. Uh, big, strong, uh, Long arms, long reach, and uh, shows you the puck and takes it away. And he's tough to get into his body because he's so big. A bombard out there to try to kill it off along with Reed. And uh, let's see who else is out there. Dougie Adams for one and Mike Dion for the other. St. Joe's controls the puck, but it's stolen by LaBombard and dumped down the ice. The Marauders will have to retreat into their own end. Goaltender Janal flips it ahead for Buckley. Here's Buckley. Skating out of his own end, he dumps it down the ice into the Messina zone. Mike Dion races for it. Here's Dion, flipping it around the boards, bounces by everybody out the center ice, using the carom that time. Here comes Buckley, flipping it ahead. Crowd wanted a penalty. Here's a shot and the save made by Garcia. Puck in the corner, Worth with it, moving it back to the point. Comes out of the, oh, they didn't see it. That was an offsides. And the puck bounces in the corner to Buckley. Now it bounces side of the net and right across the goal mouth into the circle it goes. Now Dion throws a check. Puck comes free back to Guerin at the point. But his pass, a sprawling LaBombard deflects it. And it comes back inside St. Joe's territory. Messina will make a change here. Across the blue line, it's Buckley again. He dumps it deep inside Messina territory. Here's DeRocher around the boards. It comes back toward Buckley again, but he loses it. And Messina dumps down the ice. Now the puck bounces in behind the St. Joe's net. Cleared around the boards by Mike Janal. And the penalty has elapsed. And the Raiders did a nice job killing that penalty. Puck in the St. Joe's end. Steve Guerin after it. Flips it around the boards. Bouncing right in front of the net. And it's cleared by Guerin in behind again. Now the puck picked up on the defense. Trying to move it out is St. Joseph's. It comes to Majerski. And it's just dumped down the ice from the red line. And St. Joe's wants a change as well. Still 0-0 on the Pete scoreboard. DeRocher with it. Flips on the wing. Woodward just lets it go by as he deflects it into the St. Joe's end. Mike Murphy after it there. We have a whistle. And Derek DeRocher is down in the Messina zone. I didn't see anything uh, of what happened there, but he's getting up slowly. What happened, He uh, Derek rounded his own net with the puck, and uh, I think he might have taken a knee in the thigh. Uh, that cardinal rule, with last man back, you don't try to beat that first four checker. And he had, uh, he had visions of maybe putting a move. He did pass the puck. As, as he got rid of the puck, the, uh, the four checker, and I'm not sure if it was uh, Majerski or not, but uh, he got a lick on, on, uh, on Derek, and he might have got his knee. I'm just 
guessing now in the thigh area. Let's see. Coach Hart is out there talking to him, but I, I'm just suspecting that uh, that he took one. Uh, better not speculate. Either they're looking up towards his head. I kind of, from the position he was kind of vulnerable there, I thought he might have gotten a knee. Yeah, he's going down to the thigh now. He's telling Coach Hart that it is down in the knee area of the leg. And uh, a lot of times he had made the pass and exposed himself because Majerski was right in his belly button. And like a good four-checker, you want to finish the check. Even though the opposition, the defenseman, gives up the puck, you still want to finish off the check. And uh, I think that's what Majerski did. And he might have got him. Uh, he's up on his feet now. Let's see if they take him to the locker room. Yeah, they're going to open the gate. And he's going to the locker room. And uh, they'll tend to him inside. So uh, probably a thigh area or a knee, or, uh, knee injury. I, I kind of suspect it's a thigh, but... We'll see. He's tough. He took a shot in the back of the leg by his teammate Matt Reed the other yeah. night against Norwood Norfolk that would have uh, felled an elephant, but uh, he was back out there the next shift, so I'm, I think we'll see him back uh, back here in this uh, second period. Brian Terry's line comes out for Messina, and it's going to be the Collins line, Collins, Majerski, and Crozier for St. Joseph's. Off the face comes to Murphy in his own end for St. Joseph's. Bangs it around the boards. P.J. Terry steps in front, gets tied up, now there's a scrum for the puck, and it comes free to Woodward. Centering pass goes back to Dion. Cranks it up the shot to save. And a good opportunity for Messina, but a nice save by Mike Janal. Maybe one of the best so far. There have been uh, few and far between in this first period. The Raiders uh, have not had a lot of good scoring opportunities in there. They won the battle of the boards to the, uh, the left of Janal. The puck was thrown diagonally back to the left point, and uh, number five, Mike Dion, dropped down uh, from about uh, 40 feet, uh, cranked one, but Janal had no problems with it. Faceoff will be over to the other side. Messina makes a line change. The read line out now off the faceoff. La Bombard kicks it back to the point. But there's nobody there as Rochford was toward the middle, and he dumps it in. But it's a delay off sides. Messina clears and then dumps it right back in. Picked up by Barry. Barry moves it along the boards. Intercepted by Spanberg. Barry again flips it, trying to get it by him. It bounces free and out to center ice. Here comes a good opportunity for Caccianiti. He's got a great shot. He passes this time, and it's dumped back down the ice by one of the Messina back checkers. And that'll be an icing call against Messina. And that back checker was number 17, Brian LaBombard, who plays both ends of the ice. Just an outstanding defensive effort by Brian LaBombard. The Marauders broke away. One of the Raider defensemen got caught on the blue line, and it was basically a two-on-one initially, led by number 10, uh, Caccianiti, coming down that left side. But just a great job by LaBombard hustling back. Uh, that took away, I think it was uh, Adamski on the right side, that he came back and just uh, had him tied up like a glove. Thought they called icing, but apparently they called off sides. The net was off. Oh, the net was, that's what they called? Okay. Well, the faceoff will be just outside the St. Joseph's blue line. So Reed will take the faceoff against Crossetta again. No, oh, excuse me, Caccianiti will take the draw. He wins it. St. Joseph's in their own end, poked away by Spanberg. Here comes Josh, right side of the net. Save, rebound, bouncing around. Reed can't get a stick on it. Now it comes back into the circle. Great opportunity again for Messina, and it's iced by St. Joseph's. And so we'll face it off. Somehow, someway, Josh Spanberg was the recipient of a bouncing puck, and it ended up right in the front of, front of Janelle, just a little to his right. Not a, not a maroon shirt around, and it was just Janelle and Spanberg. And... Uh, Michael Janal won that battle. Just a good save to prevent Messina from getting a late period goal here. Good save by Mike Janal. Still 0-0, 107 left. Spanberg will take the draw now for the Raiders. Left side in the St. Joe's end. Here's the draw. Reed has a piece of it, has it knocked away, and it's picked up by Buckley. Here's Buckley. Clips it, doesn't clear here. La Bombard cranks it a bouncer. Nice save by Janal. That time Buckley made a boo-boo as he... Put it right on the stick of Brian LaBombard. I think LaBombard was so stunned to get the puck, they didn't really get a good shot, good wood on it. Mike B uh, Buckley shaking his head. Tommy Buck, I should say, uh, as you called it, he put it right on, on LaBombard's stick, and Bomber's got a bullet save, but he didn't get all of that one. Kind of got a knuckleball shot, but uh, a big turnover by Buckley. He'll face off against Reed. He wins it. In behind, the Marauders hit the back of the net as they try to clear it around. It comes to Spanberg. He bounces it free in the corner. Buckley's there. Buckley bangs it out to center ice. He really looked before he passed it that time. <laughs> Here's Reed in the zone offsides. 
Well, the, uh, the last time he was kind of looking too, but I don't know, maybe he, maybe his contacts clouded up or something because uh, he was coming across the ice. He came right across in front of uh, his goaltender, Mike Janal, and looked up, and I everyone could see number 17 standing out there. He feathered a nice pass right on his stick. I'll tell you, Bomber would like to have that one back. Corey David's line out there now for Messina to face off against the Collins line with 41 seconds left in the first period in a scoreless hockey game. Dumped down the ice, and Garcia stops at side of the net. He's going to leave it for P.J. No, he's going to clear it around the boards himself. It rides the puck board back to the blue line, and it's kept in there by Barry. He flips it in the corner for Crozier. Crozier centering pass, knocked down by LaPointe. He bangs it out to center ice. St. Joe's waits, flips it back in the zone. Picked up by P.J. Again, flipping it along the boards for LaPointe. It's knocked away. Here's a chance in front, and the shot is deflected up into the wall by, I think, P.J. Rochefort got back that time. Uh, St. Joe's throwing two different types of forecheck at the Raiders. I've got to kind of off, off, uh, off balance right now. They've got them back on their heels somewhat. They're throwing a two-man, and then they're using, they're using uh, the uh, center high back where the uh, it's, keeps that center back between the two defensemen, and they pinch down the strong side defenseman. And that's kind of got Messina confused coming out. They'll have to make that adjustment uh, in between periods. Reed will take the faceoff with nine seconds left in the period. Off the draw, Messina clears it, and they trickle it down on, on net. Janal will make the save. And he flips it into the corner with Spanberg racing in on him. And the period will end a scoreless tie. So uh, St. Joe's with a better part of play, the territorial edge, but uh, nothing to show for it as of yet. A scoreless tie uh, for the simple reason, number 21, Brian Garcia, was outstanding that first period. We'll wait for the, unoffic or the official shots to come up from down below, but uh, we know that the shot... That this is the last year that they will be denied entry into the state uh, playoffs... Uh, only his section, section six and six, section nine, are the only two that, uh, the way he describes it, uh, classify the parochial and the uh, the uh, public schools not one in the same. Uh, so they want to get that change. That has to, it's a process they have to go through their section. Uh, you can explain it probably better than I can, Jerry. But they hope this is the last year they're not eligible for the states. And I know a lot of people hope that. Uh, everybody who likes good hockey would like to see these guys be uh, eligible to participate. Matt Reed out to face it off as we begin the period. And the puck is controlled by Majerski. He flips it ahead into the Messina zone. And it's knocked away by Reed. Reed stick handles. We got a two-on-one. Reed Spanberg. Reed cranks it up to save the rebound. And uh, nobody there for Messina. It's back out to center ice. And now the other way. Here comes St. Joseph. Frankie Joy gets back, throws the check, and the puck squirts in behind the net. Here's Schneider with it trying to flip it side of the net. It comes to Reed. Reed in behind now. Flips it ahead. Has it knocked away. Here's a backhander. And I don't think it got through. Here's another shot up over the net. And uh, Messina almost gave it away that time. But the Raiders move it out. Here's Reed again. His pass knocked down. He flips it ahead for Spanberg. Intercepted. And it's dumped right back inside Messina territory. St. Joe's want a change here. Puck inside the Messina zone. Reed's back there. Flips it for Schneider. Takes a check. Here's Schneider ripping it around the boards again. In the corner it goes. Coming back for it's LaBombard. Ryan skates it. Rips it around the boards for Spanberg. Spanberg tries to direct it out of the zone. It's kept in at the point by Guerin. He flips it in the corner for Buckley. Here's Buckley in behind the net. Schneider tries to tie him up. It's deflected, and Joy gets a piece of it. Now it's in behind the net again. Here's Buckley again, stick handling behind. He centers it right in front of the shot. Save Garcia. And Messina finally controls its read out to Spanberg. And Spanberg has it knocked away. Spanberg just backhands it, and Messina's going to get a change here. Buck in the corner, around the boards as uh, Larry Scott moves it out to center ice. Adams is there to flip it to the blue line. Willard bangs at it, doesn't get it in the zone. And now it's dumped by St. Joseph. She'll call an icing on that and move the faceoff back inside St. Joseph's territory. Messina, real problem clearing their zone. And big number four, Tom Buckley, just made a great play going in behind Brian Garcia, going from left to right. Looked like he drew all the attention, and he threw a backhanded pass as he was going from left to right, back the other way to number nine, Tommy Wirth, parked right out on the right side, but Garcia just stoned him on the short side. Good save. Off the faceoff, puck comes to Woodward. Woodward has it knocked away, bounces to the side of the net. Willard is there looking to center, but it got away from him. Puck comes bouncing free in front, and Woodward can't get the shot. Goes back to Rocheford. His shot. Oh, nice save. Great save by Janal. He saw it at the last second, got the pad on it. Now the puck in behind. Bounces free. And uh, controlled by St. Joseph's as they start to move it out to center ice. 
Here come the Marauders. Backhand in the Messina zone. Bounces in behind the net. P.J. Rochford rips it around the boards for Woodward. Woodward gets tied up there at the 45. Now the bodies are flying. And the puck still, now it's free. Woodward trying to kick it free, gets tied up again. It's still in their skates as uh, we're going to have a penalty on Messina. And a hit from behind on B.J. Terry. Danny Boyer, we've uh, seen Danny make that call down in Salmon River a couple times. Uh, it wasn't, uh, again, one of those things, B.J. Terry probably about six feet off the boards, and there was a, a scrum of players along the dasher, four or five players, the puck in uh, the skates, and uh, B.J. went in to check the uh, St. Joe's player, and he kind of turned his body at the last second, and uh, he did uh, get him on the backside, and the referee Boyer deemed that uh, that was a penalty, but got the crowd... Uh, on their feet, especially those that were sitting down. They did. They disagreed wholeheartedly with The Bombard against Buckley off the faceoff, controlled by DiGiulio. Now he loses it to Dion. Dion trying to bang it free, comes back in front. Oh, nice save by, or block by Kerwin on Buckley, trying to pass it across the goal mouth. Here comes Buckley skating in front, centers it side of the net, and the shot is wide. And in behind, the puck still controlled by Worth. Now we get a hand pass called on St. Joseph's. So we'll have a faceoff outside the zone. And I think that was Larry Scott that was parked out in front. Just a great play by Ryan Kerwin. Uh, Tommy Buckley had the puck uh, over on the to the right side over near the dot, and it was a two-on-one situation. And he had Larry Scott uh, parked right in front of Garcia, and he intercepted the pass from Buckley. Good play by Ryan Kerwin. Off the faceoff, the puck comes back to DiGiulio at his own blue line for St. Joe's. Bangs it ahead. Here comes Scott across on the right side. Scott takes it in behind the net. He's ridden around the boards. He flips it back to the blue line. Backhanded in the corner. Here's Kerwin again. Bangs it ahead for LeBombard. He cranks it down the ice. Another good play by Ryan Kerwin there. Puck comes back in the zone. Picked up by the goaltender, Janal. He flips it ahead for his defenseman, Garon. Garon circles back in his own end. Picks up a four-checker in Reed. And then dumps it out the center ice. Dion's there to flip it ahead to LeBombard. LeBombard to Reed. Here comes Reed. Back to LeBombard, it goes in behind him. LeBombard goes after it in the corner. He gets tied up, and the puck is picked up by DiGiulio. DiGiulio flipping it ahead to the Messina line. 25 seconds left in the power play. Here's Thomas Wirth. Has it stolen away. And now there's an injured player. And that time, who is it? Chad Schneider got hit from behind, and he is hurting. Chad Schneider uh, down on, right along the dasher to down in the... Uh, the end to our right, the west end along the uh, boards. I didn't see it. My attention was focused on the puck, and it happened away, a little bit away from the puck. But here comes Coach Matt Hart out there. He's been busy uh, tending to injuries. And Chad Snyder is down, but he's got his helmet off. I didn't see Jerry. Did you see what happened? I know he was taken into the boards, but I didn't see him. Uh, from behind, yeah. yeah very similar uh, to the, the, the other play, only he got hit a lot harder than the uh, St. Joe's player did. And uh, he, I think he's, he looks like he's going to be okay. He's getting up slowly, but uh, I think he's going to be okay. 19 seconds left in the power play, 11.23 in the second period. On the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, we're still scoreless. And that, the little things department, that probably wouldn't have happened. The Raiders would have cleared the zone, but it hit the skate of the official. Yeah. Uh, and uh, hit the skate of the official, was kept in the zone, and that's when the hit took place after that. But uh, he's up... Uh, Number eight for the Raiders, Chad Snyder, gone to the bench, and uh, he'll be back out next shift. Reed will take the face off. We have a whistle. Messina wanted to make a change. And now it's Mike LaPointe coming out, and Matt Reed will go to the bench. 19 seconds, as you said, left in this uh, power play for the St. Joe's Marauders. We're no score, 11-23 left in the second. Off the faceoff, puck control by the Marauders, back at the blue line. Here's a drive, deflected in front, save made by Garcia. Puck comes into the corner. And that one just trickled through, but Garcia made a good save again. Here's another opportunity. That's Collins with it, circling. Top of the circle, goes back to the blue line. They move it on the other side. Here's Windrum, deflected, and where is it? It's free in front, picked up by Rashford, and Messina kills the penalty. Head man to B.J. Terry. Here comes Terry busting in on the right side, centering pass, knocked down by the defense, and they ice the puck, and down the ice it goes, and the whistle will blow, and the faceoff will move back inside uh, St. Joe's territory. So again, Messina weathers the power play. And a good uh, defensive play on the other side of the coin, number three, Mike Murphy, a big uh, 6'2", 200-pound defenseman, made a great defensive play back as the Raiders broke out, went down in the corner. I think it was Mike LaPointe, hustled down, threw the puck out in the slot area, and there was a white shirt there, but a hustling uh, uh, 
Mike Murphy coming back, put that uh, blade of the stick down to the uh, handle down and redirected the puck. Good play by Murphy. Face off left side, Corey David's line out from Messina. Now David with Courier and LaPointe. Off the draw. Here comes LaPointe. Can't get the shot off. Gets it back again. Gets another shot. It's blocked by the D. Here's a backhand shot. Save made by Janal. And he'll hold on. A couple of good opportunities from Mike LaPointe. We'll face it off again inside St. Joseph's territory to the left of goaltender Mike Janal. This nope. is the uh, David and the two Goliaths line. A uh, little but subdued in that first period, but they've caught fire here. Off the faceoff, the puck bounces by P.J. Rochford out to center ice. Rochford flips it to LaPointe. LaPointe to an open wing. It trickles right across the crease and into the corner after it is Scott Berry. He flips it around the boards, and it's stolen in front. LaPointe, here's LaPointe, shot, score! Mike LaPointe, and Messina takes the lead, one to nothing. And it was that good forechecking in that line of uh, David and the two Goliaths and uh, big number nine, Corey David, in forechecking on Tim DiGiulio, who made a cardinal sin, and that is if you're going to come late with a pass in your own end, uh, don't bring it uh, up through the diagonal, don't bring it up through the middle. And DiGiulio tried to go diagonal from the right corner, and he, he saw Corey David coming, and he just threw it out in front and parked right there was Mike LaPointe. He got it, and he wristed one. By uh, Janelle, the Raiders up one nothing. And let's see if that'll ignite Messina a little bit. Here comes LaPointe again. He backhands it in the zone. Racing in after it is Dan Toole, the defenseman. Courier takes him into the boards. The puck kicks free. Now LaPointe throws a check, and puck comes up with a puck. Flips it to the blue line. Dion back to LaPointe in the corner. LaPointe and Toole go in there. They bang, and the puck squirts free. Toole comes up with it. He throws it on the wing, and St. Joe's moves it out to center ice. Here comes Buckley right by the Messina defenseman. Buckley centering pass in front, then it goes in behind the net as the Messina D got back and kind of deflected it. Bounces back to the blue line. Here's a drive high into the corner. Bouncing back on the other side. Kept in at the point. Worth drops it back to the blue line, but there was nobody there. And the puck dumped back in the zone, back out to center ice. Here comes Woodward, and he just slides it down the ice inside St. Joseph's territory. In behind the net is Willard. He races for the puck and gets tied up. The puck squirts free. Here's Buckley. Buckley in his own end now. Flips it along the glass. It rides the puck boards all the way to the blue line. Schneider's there to bang it right in front. Nice save made by Janal on a deflection. The puck comes bouncing free in the corner. Picked up there by Larry Scott. Drops it in behind for Buckley. And it goes off his stick up into the wall. And we'll have a face off. And Messina, that uh, goal seems to have ignited them a little bit. It sure has ignited them. Back the other way, Big Tommy Buckley. I think if he had to have his druthers, he beat one uh, Raider defenseman. I think he beat Mike Dion in the neutral zone. And then beat the second Raider defenseman in the defensive zone and but as he got in he had both sides to shoot at but he elected to pass it back to his line mate and it was just an errant pass I think uh, if he had his druthers he would have taken a shot on that but I agree that goal has going to uh, will spark the Raiders and it's that line of Corey David Mike LaPointe and Jamie Courier just good four checking set that one up off the face off Joyce shot is blocked and it bounces all the way back in the Messina zone racing in after is Chad Schneider takes it in behind his net Starts out right side, flips it along the boards to Spanberg. Spanberg bounces it, has it knocked away in the circle. They drop it, and it's poked away at the last second. Reed, great play by Matt Reed to break that up. He comes up with a puck, bangs it out to center ice. It trickles in the St. Joe's end, and Windrum after it there. Logan Windrum dumps it to the Messina blue line. Schneider can't control it, nor now he races for it. That was Joy, rather. Schneider trying to flip it on the wing to LaBombard. It's intercepted. Here's a shot knocked down in front. And it comes just wide and bounces into the corner. Puck picked up again. Here's a chance for Collins. He's going to drop it back to the blue line. And it's just dumped into the corner by defenseman Windrum. Comes in behind. And it's flipped around the boards by Schneider. Comes to LaBombard. LaBombard checked. The puck bounces free. And it comes to Joy. Here comes Joy leading the attack. Headman on the stick of Spanberg. Here comes Josh. Winds up the shot. The save. He goes after the rebound. But Buckley is there to move it ahead. Out to center ice. It comes free to Cochiniti. Cochiniti takes it across, stick handles, slides by Frankie Joy, but P.J. Rochford is there to come up with it. He flips it around the boards. Kept in, goes in behind the net, comes to Joy. Joy to LaBombard on the wing. LaBombard to Reed. Nice head man. Here comes Matt Reed with it. Reed, as Messina's going to change, takes it across the blue line, has it knocked away, and right back the other way comes St. Joseph's. Here's Buckley with it. Buckley dropping it back. We got a penalty on Messina. And the Raiders still haven't touched the puck yet. Now they do. 
And well, I don't know, I didn't see that one. It's gonna be a slashing call. Again, I didn't see it either, Jerry, but it is a slash, and uh, St. Joe's will go on the power play. This is the third one. That goal, a 436 mark, is fifth of the year. Mike LaPointe, I'll tell you, the officials very generous on the assist. They gave two Raiders, Corey David and uh, P.J. Roche were going to pick up assists, but I, I bet that it was uh, thrown out, out of the corner by number 14, Tim DiGiulio. Anyway, Raiders on the board first at the 436 mark. But St. Joe's goes back on the power play here. Messina one to nothing with 726 left on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard. B.J. Terry and Josh Spanberg out there, along with P.J. Rochford and Doug Adams. Puck just in the neutral zone still. Bouncing into the Messina zone. P.J. Rochford after it in behind the net. Flips it to Adams. Adams moves it down the ice. Good play by Doug Adams. Janal comes out to try and play it. Now he runs into a little problem there. B.J. Terry almost stole it. But now here comes Buckley. And he fakes the shot. And P.J. took it away. Did he get it out of the zone? Apparently he did. They call the offsides. I don't know about that one. Tommy Buckley tried the old fake slap shot and uh, tried to sell it to uh, P.J. Rochefort, but uh, P.J. Uh, said, I'm not buying that one today. Buckley wound up like he was going to drill the shot and then try to bring it back down and tip it through Rochefort's legs, but uh, P.J. just doing a good job. Uh, took Buckley right out of the play. Terry will take the face off against Buckley. It comes to Garon. He flips it ahead, and they dump it in the zone. Comes in behind the net. Trickles around the boards to Worth. Worth. Going to Buckley, back to the point. Here's a drive through traffic, knocked down, deflected just wide. And I don't think that touched anybody except, uh, you know, forwards. Now Doug Adams trying to move it around the boards, tying up the player. It bounces free to Buckley in behind. P.J. kicks it away from him. Comes to Thomas Worth. Worth in the corner, gets tied up there by Adams. The puck comes bouncing in front, and it comes free to Adams. Adams trying to move it ahead, and he backhands it down the ice. Good shift by Doug Adams on the penalty kill. Here, Messina will make the change. They almost got caught on a line change, but it bounces by everybody. And in the corner is LaBombard coming up with a puck for Messina. Here's LaBombard, flips it down the ice. And it's going to come in on Janal again, and he's going to leave it for his defenseman this time. He decides not to play with it. Now the puck almost knocked away, but coming back for it is DiGiulio. DiGiulio moves it ahead. It bounces free. Kerwin. Kerwin to LaBombard. LaBombard bangs it ahead to Reed. We got a man free, and it's Willard, but he can't catch up with a pass. Willard now in the corner. Gets tied up, and DiGiulio knocks him off the puck. It comes free, and it's Kerwin again flipping ahead. Here comes Reed busting in. reedy has got the puck. Oh, and Willard didn't see it. Beautiful pass by Reed to Willard, and Chad didn't see it. Here's a shot knocked down, and we have a whistle, and we got a holding call, and St. Joe's will pick up their first penalty. First penalty of the game for St. Joe's, and it's really, this crowd is yelling, <laughs> saying it's been long overdue. There's been a couple out there, borderline. We played uh, five, almost uh, period two-thirds, and that's the first penalty, and there's been a couple of questionable calls. But anyway, the Raiders going to go on the power play, and Ryan Kerwin continuing his strong defensive play out there. Uh, had an outstanding shift on that last shift out there. That Raider penalty killing unit, D Dougie Adams, P.J. Roseford, and uh, up front, uh, the penalty killer just an excellent job. Spamberg coming out with a bombard and Reed. Joy and LaPointe moves back to play the point. Face off right side. Messina wins it. Joy. Joy skates it, flips it in the corner for LaBombard. Gets by him and is picked up by Windrum. Windrum and Reed bump. LaBombard takes the puck in the corner again. Rips it around the boards. It comes back to Joy at the point. Joy flips it, has it knocked away, keeps it in the zone nicely. Now comes to Spanberg, in the corner for La Bombard. La Bombard back to Spanberg, it's knocked away. Comes back to LaPointe, winds it up, it's deflected. Goes into the corner, La Bombard to Spanberg. Here's Josh, back to Joy at the point. Joy to LaPointe, LaPointe to Spanberg, Spanberg to La Bombard. La Bombard gets tied up, gets the shot off, it's blocked. And the puck cleared back to the blue line. LaPointe keeps it in, flips it in the corner. It bounces in behind to La Bombard. Here's Brian with it. Brian goes to Spanberg at the 45. Back to Joy at the point to Spanberg. Spanberg to LaBombard. Here's LaBombard trying to kick it free. Comes to Spanberg in front. His shot is blocked. Bounces free. And it's still in the zone. Finally, it's dumped down the ice with 30 seconds left in the power play. Here's Joy. Joy's pass, or uh, the pass to Joy, is knocked away as uh, he and uh, Garcia weren't on the same page that time, as you like to say, Dave. But here comes Messina's Joy. Headman to Spanberg. Josh lugs it through center ice, takes it across the blue line. Here's Spanberg, 
Centering it, sets it up, his drive. Oh, that didn't miss by much. Trickles all the way back to LaPointe at the other point. Mike LaPointe lifts one right on. The save is made. The puck cleared into the 45, and Reed comes up with it. The penalty has elapsed. Here's Matt Reed, out by the blue line. And the puck bounces away from him. Joy trying to keep it in. He does. Now Spanberg flips it in the corner for LaBombard. LaBombard, stick handles, trying to center it. It's knocked away, and he's still got it. Here's a bouncing puck in front. Spanberg can't get a piece of it. Comes to Joy. His shot knocked down, and St. Joe's will move it back down ice. Three on two. Into the zone. Here comes Cochiniti. Has it taken away by Joy. Good play by Frankie that time to stay with it. And they jam for it in behind the net. Coach Anidi looks to center. It's knocked away. And the Raiders move it out. Here comes La Bombard. La Bombard takes it right down the middle. His shot. The save is made by Janal. He's going to dive on it. And we're going to have a face-off inside St. Joe's territory. That line was out there for a long time. Long time. And the Raiders didn't score in that power play. But they came to life and had an excellent power play. And Mike LaPointe was a big part of that. Back in that blue line, controlling that play and finding the open man. I'll tell you. And on the other side of the coin, Mike Murphy, uh, big number three, that defenseman. He, he had uh, more stops than Janal did in there. He stopped two or three excellent scoring opportunities. A good job by big Mike Murphy, number three for the Marauders. Face-off will come in the Marauders' zone. Buckley will face off against Brian Terry. Still one nothing, Messina. We're in the waning moments of the second period. Off the face-off, controlled by the Marauders out the center ice. Here comes Buckley, the two-on-one. He's going to pass it right in front. The shot to Buckley's a score. Oh, beautifully executed two-on-one. Buckley, and I think that's Thomas Worth, and it's tied up at 1-1. Uh, and we'll find out who the other, who the other assist is, because that's the one that really started it. I'm sure it was a defenseman down here. Just a super pass coming out of his own end and hit Buckley right down below us, and Buckley and Worth uh, down, and they just uh, turned the Raider defense, and Brian Garcia had no chance. Beautiful two-way pass he played by Buckley and Worth, but we'll find out who picks up that other assist. That was the great pass, because he, he threaded it through about three white shirts right down below us. Larry Scott was the first pass. Larry Scott, well, that was super. Yes, it was, because Worth picked up the other assist, of course, and now off the faceoff, it comes to P.J. Rashford. He loses it, gets it back again, flips it out to center ice. Chad Willard with it, trying to bang it ahead, knocked away by Worth, but Woodward steals from him, gets tied up, then flips it ahead. Here's a shot by B.J. Terry, bounces in the corner. After it is Willard, knocked off his stick, about two and a half left in the period. We're all tied up. Oh, and Adam pinches in, the puck poke check. Here comes a three-on-one. Buckley breaks. Fakes, shot, glove, save. Oh, a beauty by Garsha. Oh, boy, big time NHL save. Brian Garsha just robbed Tommy Buckley. Again, you call it, Jerry, a three-on-one that time. And Buckley used his wing on that side as a decoy. He got right in on top to the uh, coming down the right side. And he's a left-handed shot, so he had the whole net to shoot at. And he was going top side, glove side. And he aimed it for that spot, and somehow Brian Garsha probably his best save of the night. An outstanding save by Brian Garsha. Off the faceoff. The puck comes back to the blue line. Now it's Kerwin with it. Kerwin flips it ahead for Courier. David to Courier. We got a two-on-one for Messina. Here's Courier to LaPointe. Mike can't get the shot off as he was too deep, but the puck is still free, and we have a whistle. And uh, Billy Foster lost sight of it. The puck was sitting behind the goaltender, Janal, and Corey David was poised to pick it up and score, and uh, they blew the whistle. Corey David more frustrated at himself than anything. I don't know. I don't know if he would have... Uh, the whistle went. I'm not sure he was able to get it anyway, but he saw it, and Janal didn't. It was in behind him, and just at the last second, Janal reached back and grabbed it, but the whistle had already gone because the official lost sight. Off the faceoff. Puck controlled by the Marauders as they move it around the boards. We're tied at one here. Here's Corey David's shot, knocked down on the defense. And here comes back down the ice, St. Joe's as they flip it in the zone. That was DiGiulio. Now the puck in behind the net. Kerwin ties it up momentarily. Now David throws a check, comes up with a puck, rips it off the glass, doesn't clear. Yeah, it does bounce past DiGiulio. He has to come back for it, and he flips it up into the wall. Tim DiGiulio, if we were playing football, would have carried that one before that for a first down, Jerry. He closed his hands right over and he skated about 10 yards. And uh, that got the crowd a little excited. And now they're uh, equally upset because DiGiulio flipped the puck 
uh, over the Messina bench. He was being, he didn't know where the forecheck was coming from. There were two Raiders on him, so he just flipped it up over the bench, and a lot of the fans want delay of the game, but uh, it's only, no only when the goalie does it. <laughs> what an exciting hockey game we have here this afternoon. Great hockey game. 1-1 one, one tie hockey game it is. Off the faceoff, Kerwin flipping it ahead for Courier. It's intercepted. Bounces back to Kerwin again. Ahead to Courier. His backhand pass. Knocked away. Bounces back out to center ice and trickles into the Messina zone. A foot race for Dion. Can't get to it. Here's a shot. Big save again on Thomas Worth as Buckley raced for it. He managed to slide it to Worth, and uh, Garcia comes up big again. We talked about Matt Reed's outstanding effort. Tommy Buckley just came through with an outstanding effort. It looked like the Raider defenseman was going to get that loose puck. Buckley got there, hustled at the same time, and somehow banked it off the Messina player's leg right out to Worth in front. He was all alone. He and Garcia, and Brian Garcia, another great save. Reed against Buckley, face off right side. In the Messina zone, off the draw. Puck sits there. Finally, Reed comes up with it. Flips it ahead for Spanberg. Oh, he almost got him. And down the ice it goes. Spanberg comes in after it and has the puck knocked away. Bounces in the corner. Garen and LaBombard go after it there. Now Buckley comes in to help out. Comes up with a puck, rips it to Worth. Here's Worth. He gets tied up, has to drop it back again. Puck rides the puck boards. Now it's cleared around by Garon. We're in the final minute of the period. Here comes St. Joe's. Head man pass. Poke checked away by Schneider. He comes up with a puck. Here's Schneider's head man, LaBombard. Messina, now Reed gets the head man. Here's Reed, centers it. Spanberg, the trailer to LaBombard. He just missed the deflection. Now the puck in the corner. Back to Joy at the point. Joy just flips it to an open corner. Bounces free. Comes back to Schneider. Schneider's shot, bang, free. Goes in behind. LaBombard centers it. Bounces free. And it, here comes St. Joe's. They're going to move it out to center ice. They slide it into the Messina zone. Right there is Joy to break it up. Frankie starts to LaBombard. LaBombard to Reed. He flips it in the zone, chases it down, comes in behind the net. 18 seconds. Reed throws a check. The puck bounces free. Comes to Buckley. Buckley flips it on the boards, and they bang it out to center ice with 10 seconds left. Schneider trying to tie it up. It bounces free, but Joy is there. Joy in behind his own net. Has it knocked away. Well, stays with it. Flips it ahead, and the buzzer sounds. And we go to the locker room with a tie hockey game. That was a pretty nice period of hockey. Oh, pretty nice is right. Very, very enjoyable period of hockey. I'll tell you, and if you're one of the fortunate ones here this afternoon, to really entertain that second period. And a pretty even Steven. Uh, the Raiders got their act together that period. Uh, and a much better performance. Uh, they, uh, they, their forechecking was a lot better. They had uh, the Marauders penned up in their own. The end of it well covered. And there, uh, I was talking with uh, Coach Mickler before the game. Uh, he was telling me that uh, they are uh, very, very sports-oriented at the school. He says sometimes the administration tries to downplay it a little bit, but uh, he said that they are very sports-oriented. And uh, we're talking about uh, this Thomas Buckley. He was uh, an all-Western New York end on the football team there. Apparently, he was a quarterback, but their, their end got hurt, and their backup quarterback was good, too. So they switched him to end. He stepped right in the role and was an all-Western New York end. Well, he's got all the tools uh, physically for hockey. You know, that big size, uh, the long reach, and a uh, great skater. He's uh, effortless out there. Those, uh, those big guys like that, they make it look so easy. You think they're just kind of cruising until you get down there and try to skate beside them. And uh, as they go by in a blur... Uh, but uh, he's got all the tools to be a blue chipper, and he's put on a fine performance here this afternoon. You mentioned Coach Mickler. He's also uh, very active in Hockey USA and uh, uh, dealing with the Select 15 uh, of New York State, so uh, very active in, my, in amateur hockey. We're underway here in the third period. Off the faceoff, the bouncing puck controlled by Reed knocked away. Here comes Larry Scott across the blue line, trying to get it to Murphy. He can't, or to uh, Buckley, rather. Now it's to Reed. He falls down but flips it ahead to LaBombard. Ryan right across the crease. He gets nailed by Buckley, gets right back up, and St. Joe's controls out to center ice. Schneider's there to dump it to an open wing, and we're going to have an offsides as uh, one of the Messina forwards wasn't out of the end, uh, out of the uh, St. Joe's end when the LaBombard took it across. Good, solid check uh, by Tommy Buckley coming across on Brian LaBombard, but uh, hitting the bomber, it's like hitting a... Uh, you know, a fire plug, and he bounces right back up. But he, he put LaBombard down, but not for long. Buckley also, we understand, is an excellent baseball player, too. Off the faceoff, back to Joy. Joy just moves it ahead. Reed, trying to take it across, has it poke-checked away, and it comes free, and it's picked up there by DiGiulio. He moves it, 
to the Messina line. Schneider, bounce pass, knocked away by Worth, comes back to Schneider. He looks ahead, looks for LaBombard. LaBombard cross-ice pass for Spanberg. It gets away from him, trickles right in, and Janal clears it into the corner. Puck comes bouncing free, picked up by Buckley. He lofts it in behind, goes to DiGiulio, back to the blue line, but not out. Kept in by Joy. Joy goes to Willard. Willard trying to center it. Messina right in the middle of a line change as Spanberg's still out there. He circles, takes it to the top of the circle, tries to dump it through, but he didn't get a good backhand pass, and he broke his stick, as a matter of fact, and it comes to the Messina line. P.J. Rochford with it. Rochford ahead to Reed. He just deflects it in the zone, and finally Messina will complete the line change. In behind the net, it comes to Willard. Willard trying to go back to Woodward. Woodward digs for it. Now Willard centers it, and Terry waved at it. Couldn't get the shot. Bounces in front, and it's sticked out to center ice. And here comes a two-on-one, but it's broken up. They center it right across the goal mouth. Comes back to the blue line. It's knocked down, and B.J. Terry moves it out to center ice. Terry steals the puck. Here comes Terry. He's got Willard. Nice poke check. Sprawling poke check by Guerin. Breaks it up. Comes back to Adams. His shot. Save made and up into the glass behind the net. Woodward picks it off the back. Picks it up. Centers it. In behind for Terry. Terry's backhand pass is deflected. Comes into the corner. And pinching in is Rochford. Flips it in the corner. Goes in behind again. Racing back after it there is Jim Collins. And he'll skate it out of trouble. Out the center ice. Here's Collins. Has it knocked away by Woodward. And it's dumped back down the ice into the Messina zone. And icing will be the call. We talked about at the beginning of the period how it's uh, every shift it's somebody new reaching new heights and uh, individual effort. And that time it was number seven, Steve Garan, uh, the big defenseman, the uh, 6'1", 160-pounder, made a great uh, hustle back here and uh, uh, thwarted B.J. Terry from uh, breaking in on uh, Janal. Just a good second effort by Steve Garan. Corey David out to face off now with LaPointe and Courier off the draw. The puck still in the circle. Finally, he's picked up in behind by Windrum. He flips to Buckley. Buckley looks. Now he starts out. He almost gets knocked down but stays with it as he skates by the Messina players and flips it out to center ice. Dumped to the Messina line. Kerwin blocks it. Trying to follow up on the play is Adamski in the corner. He flips it free. In behind the net, Corey David takes his man out of the play. Bu the puck comes to Buckley. Drops it back to the point. Here's a drive right on the save made by Garcia. Puck whips around the corner and is picked up by Schneider. Nice move. He goes to LaPointe. Buckley is back-checking, takes it away. Here's Buckley now, flipping it over on the other side as they try to move it ahead. It rounds the boards in the corner. Buckley again. Here's Buckley with it. He's taken into the boards by Corey David. And down the ice it goes. And that's going to be an icing call against... Uh, they tried to get a man springing Coach Anidi, but it was too far for him to catch. I'll tell you, Jerry, I've never seen so many pucks uh, shot from the point find their way through traffic to the net as today. Uh, maybe they've got some sonar devices in them. But I'll tell you, a maze of players out there on each end, and somehow those shots are getting through, and uh, the goaltenders at both ends haven't come up big. Base off right side. Jim Collins out there for St. Joe's against Matt Reed. In the St. Joe's end, here's LaBombard, takes a wave at it, can't come up with it, and is poke-checked out to center ice. Schneider flips it right back in the zone. Here's Scott Berry with it, flips it to his defensive partner, and they bang it out to center ice. Schneider again dumps it across the blue line to lay offsides. Messina clears, but St. Joe's is going to move it out. Here's Thomas Worth with it. Worth just dumps it in the Messina zone in behind the net. Frankie Joy, Joy trying to go to LaBombard. It's LaBombard, almost had it intercepted. He flips it ahead, bangs out to center ice, and it's dumped right back. That'll be an icing call on St. Joseph's again, as it was dumped by DiGiulio from his half of neutral ice. A sign of good coaching and uh, good athletes out there. You watch that transition when you, uh, and that's so important. When you go from defense, you got to Im immediately go to offense. Uh, last shift out there, Buckley, big Tom Buckley, was coming out on the ice now. The uh, was a turnover. Uh, uh, St. Joe's went from defense to offense, and instinctively, as soon as his defenseman touched the puck, he was breaking up between the Raider defense, and they almost threaded it through to him. Spanberg will face it off. Off the draw. Buckley wins it. Back to DiGiulio. Takes it right in front of his own net, but moves it out. Goes bouncing by everybody. It's going to trickle in on Garcia. He sticks it out to neutral ice. Dump back in the Messina zone. Frank Joy is there. Joy's head man to LaBombard. LaBombard. Trying to move it ahead. It's knocked away as he couldn't control the bouncing puck. Right back in the zone is Scott. Flips it in behind the net. Worth after it there. Looks to center. Here's the shot. And Garsha makes the save. 
Oh boy, I guess so. Coming out, the puck came out of the corner, number 17, Larry Scott, cruising across the crease area, coming from Garsh's left to, to the right area, and Worth threw it out in front, and Scott just redirected it, and just a good save by Bean in the right spot. He didn't have to move because he was in the right spot. It happened so quickly he couldn't move, but playing his angles and being at the right, time, uh, right spot at the right time, big save by Brian Garsha. Buckley out there with Worth and Scott to face off against Brian Terry in the Messina zone. Off the draw, bouncing puck control by Woodward, trying to clear it out of the zone following his Terry. Ahead to Woodward. Here's Woodward. He overskates it, has it knocked away, and back the other way comes to the Messina blue line. Doug Adams there. Adams flips it ahead for Willard. Willard trying to kick to Terry. It's knocked away. Buckley comes back with it, drops it to his defense. Here's a long head man. Knocked down. Here's Buckley across the blue line into the Messina zone. He centers it right across the goal mouth. Nobody there. Now Worth comes out of the corner looking to center, but it's intercepted by Messina. Now the puck is going to trickle in on net the other way, and it's cleared by Janal back toward the blue line. Now back the other way comes St. Joe's into the Messina zone. P.J. Rochford's there. He looks up. Head man right on the stick of Woodward. Here's Woodward turning it around across the blue line off sides as Woodward just waited too long as Brian Terry was breaking, and offsides will be the call. 10-19 left to go here in period number three. It's still 1-1 on the Corky's Collision scoreboard. Our broadcast brought to you by Messina Optics at 55 Main Street, Kentucky Fried Chicken, 232 Main Street, and by Messina Agway, 528 South Main Street in Messina. Off the faceoff, puck back inside St. Joe's territory. They clear. Ryan Kerwin circles back to his own blue line to pick it up. He drops it. Mike Dion, Dion bangs it ahead. Here comes Corey David. David just lifts it high in the air. It bounces right on, and goaltender Janal is going to hold on. That's one of those short hops. Uh, if, you've, uh, if you're a baseball fan, you know, you've heard that expression, a short hop, and Janal played it right. You've got to come out. You can't sit back and let that uh, puck play you. He came out and short hopped it, was going to throw it to the corner, but uh, he saw the good aggressive uh, hustle by the Raider forward and decided to hold on for the faceoff. Faceoff right side in the, or in the uh, St. Joe's zone. They win the faceoff again and rip it around the boards. Picked up by Courier as he steals, can't hold on to it, and it bounces out the center ice. Picked up by Kerwin again. His pass knocked down and into the Messina zone it goes. Ryan Kerwin with it. Skates it in behind the net. Oh, his pass knocked down. Puck comes bouncing free to Crozier. Centering pass. Nice save by Garcia. Crozier centered it to Jim Collins. And Collins got a great shot, but a great save by Garcia. Just uh, excellent forechecking by Crozier. He, uh, he centered the puck, and he also took it off the Raider defenseman by good aggressive forechecking. I think we're going to have a penalty here uh, after the fact. Uh, probably going to run them both. Uh, I think it's going to be Crozier and uh, Corey David. But Crozier took it away from the Raider defenseman, threw it out in front, and Collins cruising in the slot area. Didn't waste any time. One-timed it. Brian Garcia, quick left hand, pull it out of the air. Big, big save to keep this a 1-1 hockey game. So Crozier and David will both go, matching minors, and we're down to 9.41 left in the third period. We're tied at one on the Corky's Collision scoreboard. That was a little extracurricular activity as the puck went the other way. Reed will take the faceoff against Cochiniti. Off the draw, Ryan Kerwin with it, trying to move it along. He gets tied up. The puck bounces free. They center it. It kind of trickled off Mike Dion, went right on, and Garcia covered it up. St. Joe's has a habit, especially on the power play. Uh, they, uh, when it goes in either corner, they'll run two men right down in close to outman you two to one. The first guy takes the man, second guy takes the puck, and that's the way you like to do it. Or it'll give them that short, quick pass, and, and then it's right out in the slot area. They move the puck really well. Reed again will face it off against Cochiniti. Off the draw, back to the point. Here's a shot deflected by Dion into the corner. He rips it around the boards to LaBombard. Brian skates out of there. Here's LaBombard with it. Building up ahead of steam. Goes to Reed. Reed winds the shot. He fired it wide. Comes to Spanberg. He lets it go back to Dion. Dion trying to pass it through to Spanberg, and he does just barely manage to get it to him. Here's Josh. Winding up the shot. The save. Right at goaltender Janal. And uh, we'll have a face-off as he held on. Josh Bamberg picking the puck up along the boards to the left of uh, Janal, working his way into the middle of the ice, turned, and from just at the top of the uh, circle, about 40 feet out, he, uh, he cranked one, but uh, fortunately for Janal, it went right at uh, his belly button. Either side, uh, 
Josh had a chance to put the Raiders up by one. Off the faceoff, puck back in the corner again, picked up by Guerin. He rips it around the boards, and Kerwin keeps it in nicely to Reed in front. He whacks at it, following up to Spanberg, and he just missed by about an inch. Kerwin again flips it, rides it around the boards to Spanberg. It gets by him, and it's picked up by the Marauders. They move it out to center ice. Comes to the Messina line. Ryan Kerwin's there. Circles in behind his own end. And he turns the corner. Starts back the other way. Headman to Spanberg to Reed. Reed breaks out. Here's Reed just bouncing it past the defenseman. Goes in the corner. In behind the net. Buckley. Buckley flipping it to Worth. Worth circles back now. Flips it to center ice. Frankie Joy poke checks it back inside the zone. And now the puck's stolen. Here comes Reed in front. He breaks in. Shot score! Matt Reed! And Messina takes a 2-1 to lead. Oh, just a grievous error by number six, Danny Toole. And he just, Danny feels really bad in his own end. Everyone had left the zone, but uh, he and his partner... And uh, Danny, along the right dasher, just inside his own blue line, lost the puck to Matt Reed. All he had to do was bank it off the boards. We say when you're the last man back, don't try to beat that four checker. And he held on too long. Matt Reed poked it by him, walked around him, went in, and went from left to right, got Janelle down, and put a backhander by on the, on the glove side. Raiders up 2-1. Off the faceoff, puck back inside. St. Joe's territory. B.J. Terry in behind the net. As it knocked away, and the puck comes bouncing free. The Marauders move it out to center ice. Down the ice it comes Adamski, swept away by Schneider. Schneider ahead to Woodward, trying to clear the zone. He doesn't. Puck dumped in the corner. Schneider rips it. It bounces right in front. That took a funny bounce out of the corner, and Garsha alertly grabs it and holds on. Matt Reed, who has been a force here all afternoon, he was the... Uh... One of the few Raiders in that first period that uh, didn't seem sluggish. He was trying to get his club uh, motivated, and he certainly has here at the 637 mark his 21st of the year when he just stole it right off of Danny Toole, went in and beat Gerald with a little backhander. Off the faceoff, puck in the corner, in behind the Messina net. Frank Joy is there, rips it around the boards, and out to center ice is B.J. Terry. Here's Terry, two-on-one with Woodward. Terry winds up the shot, score! Ryan Terry, and it's 3-1 B.J. Terry was just a devastating shot from a tough angle. Young Michael Janal did not play his angle well in that. He was worried it was a two-on-one, so he couldn't be as aggressive as he wanted to. He had to worry about the, uh, I think it was the Chad Wood, Matt Woodward on that right side. But B.J. Terry from a pretty tough angle, I'd say from about 35 feet out. And that shot never came probably more than two inches off the ice. It was just a bullet. And uh, Janal had no chance on it. Found its way just inside the post. Off the faceoff. Puck back in on Janal. He leaves it for his defenseman, Garrett. Flips it around the boards. The point. Back to the point. Rochford flips it in the corner again. Bounces free. Corey David with it. Trying to bang it to LaPointe. He gets tied up by Mike Murphy, the defenseman. Murphy. Trying to move it along. Stolen by David. His shot right on. And the save is made by Janal. Now Doug Adams pinches in. Flips it in behind the net. Messina putting a little pressure on here, but they dump it out the center ice. Doug Adams with it. Flipping it back in the zone. Messina clears, but St. Joe's loses it. Here is Corey David again. Flipping it right on. The save is made. Puck comes in behind the net. Steve Guerin with it. Moving it to the blue line, but not out. David throws a check. The puck comes to Buckley. Buckley circles, picks up a four checker in Spanberg. Messina in the middle of a line change here. Here's Buckley looking up ice. Has it poked away. It bounces free. Out toward the blue line. Spanberg can't quite keep it in. Now it's dumped right back in the zone. Bounces free to defenseman Guerin. Guerin down the ice. Blocked by Rochford with a glove. Rochford flips ahead to the open wing. And Reed almost picked it up. He almost got it again as Steve Guerin trying to stick handle. He finally moves it ahead out to center ice. Rochford has it poke checked away. Comes bouncing back in the Messina zone. And down the boards it goes to the blue line. Kept in at the point momentarily. Now the Raiders move it out to center ice. Reed trying to slip it through to Spanberg, but it's knocked away. Comes inside the Messina zone. And it's picked up there 
by P.J. Rashford. Bangs it out to center ice. Dumped right back in the zone. They got a delay off size. Now they're going to blow the whistle. And Garcia gets upended by the St. Joe's player. And that was totally unintentional. So I don't think there's going to be any call there. But uh, the crowd uh, didn't like it very much. That uh, third Raider goal at the 727 mark. B.J. Terry is 12th of the year. Just a bullet, a low bullet from a tough angle. And I tell you, young uh, Mike Janal, only a sophomore, and uh, he's a little rattled right now. If the Raiders uh, could get a couple of more shots, uh, they, uh, you know, he's he's upset at that last goal. He's down there. He's had a good ball game. That last one, maybe didn't play his angle just the way, but we, he had to worry about that guy uh, Woodward coming down on the other side. Raiders up 3-1 with 5:58 left in this hockey game. BJ used Woodward as a, as a decoy excellently. Off the faceoff, puck bounces back into the Messina zone. Garsha out of his net to play it around the boards to Woodward, knocked away from him, bounces free out toward the blue line, and here's a shot through traffic, knocked down in front, still bouncing around, picked up by Terry, doesn't clear the zone, here's a drive, it's knocked down again, bounces free, Mike Dion rips it around the boards, Terry after it there, knocked away from him, comes to Dion again, he'll try the other side, Woodward racing in for it, he gets knocked off the puck by Collins, it's flipped in behind again. Now Dion goes after it, gets knocked down, but stays, well, he got back to his feet and bangs it out the center ice to Woodward. Woodward just deflected it down the ice into the St. Joe's end. Messina leads 3-1, 5 13 left third period. Bouncing puck controlled by Collins out the center ice, moves it ahead into the Messina zone, knocked away. Now comes to Buckley, here's a shot, the save made, puck side of the net, it's covered by Garsha. Brian Garcia standing tall as he's done all day. Holding the Raiders up by two with five minutes. I'll tell you, when B.J. Terry goes to the bench, I know the coaching staff are going to whisper sweet nothings in his ear saying, B.J., we're up by two late. Don't make a blind pass up the middle, which he did just moments ago. Uh, he uh, rounded his net, should have came on the dash or the safe way, but he thought he saw somebody in the middle. He threw a blind pass, and that somebody was wearing the opposite colored shirt, and they almost drove it down Garcia's throat. Buckley wins the draw. Here's a shot. Garcia makes a good save and corrals it behind the net and holds on for the faceoff. The uh, St. Joe's Marauders are going to be a lot doing a lot more gambling. They know they've only got four minutes and 54 seconds to get back. They're down by two, so they're going to pinch more. They're going to be more aggressive up in the neutral zone. The Raiders want to be cognizant of that and just kind of tip the puck by them, and they can get a couple of breakaways here. They really don't need it. Just good defense. Off the faceoff. Here's a shot. Bounces in the slot. The shot. They fired it wide. And Wirth, and here's another shot up into the wall. And Worth started to celebrate. He, sure, he certainly did, Jerry. He had his stick up in the air. He thought it was in. And somehow, I think it went maybe in behind Garcia and ricocheted off his skate out the other way. But uh, I agree. He had the stick in the air celebrating a goal. But it wasn't. And then the next shot came bouncing high over the net and up into the wall. So the faceoff stays in the Messina zone. And again, Messina, they don't have to come out clean here. They don't have to be smart. They just have to just uh, smart by I mean coming out clean, dumping off the boards. Off the faceoff, here's the shot. Garcia just turns it aside. It wasn't on net. Worth with it, trying to center it. Reed bangs it ahead, doesn't clear the zone, bounced into the corner again. P.J. Rochford rips it around the boards. It's intercepted. They center it in the slot, but it bounces free. To the blue line, here's a shot. Knocked down by Reed. Matt looks for it. Starts to move it ahead. Drops it back. Comes to P.J. Rochford. Rochford rips it around for LaBombard. He just lets it go. Nice, smart move by LaBombard. Comes out to center ice. Here comes the puck in the St. Joe's zone. They clear it back out. Buckley. Here's Buckley with a two-on-one with Worth. Buckley centering pass to Worth. He fired it wide as P.J. Rochford fell down. I think they'd like to have that one back. Puck in the corner. Digging for it is Rochford. He gets tied up. The puck still in the corner. Now it squirts free. They center it in front. Here's a backhander. Garcia save covers up for the faceoff. Raiders protecting a two-goal lead with 352. Uh, got caught pinching down on the offensive blue line. They don't want to do that at this stage of the game. Uh, St. Joe's away with a two-on-one break. Uh, I think he called uh, matching minors here. Yeah, he did. Matt Reed from Messina, and who's the St. Joe's player? That little extracurricular, apparently, after the whistle. So Reed's off for a minute and a half, and that's going to be, uh, let's see here. That's going to be Larry Scott. 
Raiders just want to maybe change, possibly change their forechecking uh, pattern here. They don't need two men in. Send one man, hold the wings, and uh, tell the defense uh, no pinching down. Play it nice and cozy, nice and safe. If you're not sure, just dump the puck in his own. Off the faceoff. Puck comes back to the blue line. Kept in. Here's a shot in front, and Garsha's going to cover up. Wasn't really a shot. It was just a clearing pass that deflected right on, and Garsha will hold on for the faceoff. The crowd has uh, kind of come alive here. They certainly have. Uh, they were kind of, that first period, uh, sitting on their hands, understandably so, because uh, the Marauders had a good territorial edge. But since then, they've been into the game. Off the faceoff, puck in the corner. Mike Dion after it. Flips it to Woodward. Woodward has it knocked away. Comes in front. Here's a shot fired just wide. Comes to Chad Willard. Willard tries to bang at it, and he gets it out to center ice. Dump back in the zone, right back out again. Here's Willard. Flipping it free to Woodward. He's open. Takes it across. Looks for BJ. His pass intercepted. Back the other way comes St. Joseph's. It's Tom DiGiulio. Offsides will be the call, except Messina clears it. Back out to center ice. Dumping to the Messina line. Right back across the blue line it comes. They try to dump it in the corner. DiGiulio in after. Looks to center. Knocked down by Willard. And he just deflects it down. There's going to be a foot race. And Janal will have to come out of his net to play it out to center ice. Now both teams are making some changes here. And it's dumped to the Messina line, into the zone. Here comes DiGiulio, has it knocked off his stick by Corey David. Messina still leads it three to one. Here's Corey David, out to center ice, rides it along the boards, Buckley takes it away. Here's Buckley, across the blue line, has it knocked off his stick. Ryan Kerwin in the corner, has it knocked away, goes back in behind the net for Buckley. But Courier is there, poked away. Joy looks for it. Centered in front by Buckley. David trying to clear the zone. It bounces free to the blue line and out to center ice. Right back to the Messina blue line. Bouncing around. Dumped back in the corner. Here's Frankie Joy after it. Joy's ridden off the plate. Comes to Kerwin. Kerwin just bangs it out to center ice. And that will not go far enough for icing. Two minutes, 12 seconds left to play in the third period. Messina up. Courier almost steals the puck. And bounces out to the blue line. And where is it? It's out to center ice. Oh, the point just got hauled down. And no call on the play. Bouncing free to the blue line. And Chad Schneider can't keep it out. Comes back to the Messina line. Courier's there to pick it up. Under two minutes to play now. He just flips it ahead. Knocked away by Worth. Comes to Schneider. Schneider bangs it to the red line. Back into the Messina zone it goes. In behind the net is Frankie Joy. Joy looks up ice as they make a change. Here comes Joy, lugging it ahead to center ice, clears it to center ice, and we have a whistle. We have a whistle, and uh, it was a penalty of some type. I'm not sure if it's a bench penalty or not. Uh, referee, uh, mis it's going to be a misconduct, I do believe. And it's Corey David coming to the uh, bench. Uh, something must have been said because uh, referee Billy Foster was right in front of the Messina bench when he blew the whistle, and... Uh, Maybe it was a comment coming from the bench. We'll wait and see. But it's a penalty. 132 left in this uh, hockey game in this third period. The Messina Red Raiders in two, on two third period goals. The first by Matt Reed at the 637 mark. And then uh, just uh, less than a minute later, B.J. Terry on a, just a blazing shot at the 727 mark have put the Raiders up by two. And there's a timeout uh, by uh, St. Joe's. 132 left in this hockey game. Our broadcast brought to you tonight by Paris Environmental Control Corporation on the Winthrop Road in Messina. By Messina Building Supply, 70 Water Street. North Country Savings Bank, 22 Phillips Street in Messina. Also by the Village Engraver, 80 Parker Avenue in Messina. Reynolds Metals, St. Lawrence Reduction Plant. Working together, their quality shines through. By the Seacom Federal Credit Union, 30 Stern Street, Messina. And by Tiffany's Restaurant, 46 Main Street in Messina. A minute, 32 seconds left to go in period number three. The Raiders holding on to a 3-1 to one lead here, but they are shorthanded now. Yes, they are, and that was a bench penalty. And, and uh, if you know, I'm sure Coach Long is going to tell us, again, his defense, uh, don't pinch down. Maybe I don't even want to see up past the red line. And actually, in the weak side forward here, too, that we shouldn't see three white shirts down inside the top of that circle. There should be uh, one, two at the most. Weak side wing back to help that defense because that's where the danger is going to that 
quick wide side pass, and that weak side wing should be back there helping out. They don't. Uh, they don't need another goal. Uh, three to one still wins a hockey game. They don't need to make it four one. So uh, we're. Uh, if, if St. Joe's wins the faceoff and gets it in, we're going to see Janal off the ice. Yeah, he's uh, the, the, the goaltender. LeBombard wins the draw, comes out to neutral ice. They dump it into the Messina zone, bounces in front. Here's a shot and the save made by Garcia. Puck goes to Reed in the corner, knocked away. They kill, they pull the goalie. Now it trickles out to center ice. Picked up there. And Buckley has it. Buckley moving it ahead. They flip it. Across the blue line into the Messina zones. It's Collins. They got they got the extra attacker, and Messina's down a man. Puck comes bouncing in behind the net. Reed trying to tie it up. Kicks free. They're into the final minute. Reed steals the puck. He's got it. Backhands it out to center ice. Matt Reed, what a great play that was. Puck dumped back in the Messina zone. Kerwin cranks it. Down the ice it goes. LaBombard racing for it. Buckley's there to flip it ahead. Poke checked away by Reed to LaBombard. LaBombard's got an open net, but the puck by the open net, and he just uh, dilly-dallies with it and centers it right across the goal mouth. 36 seconds. Spanberg cranks it in behind the net. Bouncing puck. Comes out toward the blue line. Spanberg almost had it. Here comes the head man. Joy cranks it right back down the ice. Here comes 24 seconds across the blue line. The shot knocked down. LaBombard backhands it out to center ice. And it bounces along the blue line, dumped back in the zone. 15 seconds left. In behind the net. Frank Joy with it, looks to just tie it up, bounces in front, they jam at it, puck bounces in the slot, Spamberg comes up with it, clears it toward the blue line out to center ice, and Messina's going to win the hockey game. And the Raiders win it as the buzzer sounds, 3-1, to one. there goes the horn, and that is a very, very emotional win for Messina, a hard-fought victory, and a great job after a flat first period. An outstanding uh, game here this afternoon. Both clubs uh, putting out uh, 120%. Uh, two fine clubs. Uh, the St. Joe's Marauders ranked third in the state. The Messina Red Raiders uh, fourth. And uh, the Raiders have reversed the tie down in Saratoga. St. Joe's uh, won 3-2. to two. And here this afternoon, the Raiders 3-1. Led by, uh, there was a lot of, there was a team effort all the way out there. I think Brian Garcia was outstanding at the crucial moments for the Raiders. Uh, in number four, Ryan Kerwin had an outstanding game. Uh, Matt Reed was just a force out there all afternoon. But a total victory for the Raiders. Uh, I think a, just a good team effort and an outstanding hockey game by two fine hockey teams here this afternoon. No question about it. Messina wins it 3-1. to one. Stay tuned for the post-game show on WMSA.